My gaming grievance was actually going to be about Red Dead Online. But I actually want to talk about something so much more important than Red Dead Online. Sexism in gaming. In joining G4... Woo! <laughs> yes! Whoa, yeah! Sexism in gaming! Get in! I mean, Hal, if she loves it that much, she should go and get a job at Blizzard. But this is the story of G4 TV and how it blew itself up, the network and the channel, in 4 minutes and 45 seconds on a rant from a deranged lunatic. There's really no other word for it. Now, I'd never heard of G4 TV before this, but then I found myself getting accused of simultaneously not finding her attractive and also jerking it to her too much. I mean, I really don't know how you kind of fit those two things together, but she certainly did. And this is the internet. If the internet teaches you one thing, it's that attractive women are everywhere and access to them is on nearly every website so i don't know who feels the need to jerk it to ugly chicks and if you're that bothered by it i could try i'm just not sure whether i've got the patience nor the time and honestly this isn't some kind of new phenomenon inventions and new technology have always been used for this kind of purpose back when cavemen first invented fire they didn't go great now we can cook steak no they said great now we can look at naked bottoms in the dark but despite all this there's one thing that's really holding me back and it's a biggie, I've got to admit it. Look, the, my main problem is that you just, you remind me of Boris Johnson, all right? And his dad. And I make it as a personal rule that I will never bang a politician. And that's just because they're too busy f***ing me hard enough as it is. So welcome to the weird world of G4 TV, where it's not just the ranter which is in trouble, but everybody else, because this is not the problem of one person. This is their entire staff, their entire company. And I really don't think there's any coming back from this. This is not where I thought we were going, I know, but I'm here. I have no here. idea. Yeah, it's not where any one of us thought we were going. It's normally not a good idea to crap on your entire audience, but she's got a ball ring through her nose and an air of superiority, so we're all gonna have to pay the price. This is the face of a man who knows something is about to go very, very wrong. In joining G4, I was ecstatic to be part of something that I grew up watching as a child. Well, congratulations on making sure it won't be around long enough for anyone else to grow up with. But every time G4 is brought up in various channels, even in this YouTube channel, we have the chat in front of us. I can see you. Of course you can. Congratulations on hitting the main point of live streaming, chat interaction. Believe me, no one goes into a YouTube chat and makes a comment at the streamer and expects the streamer not to ever see it. That's kind of the point. It's a bit like making YouTube videos where people are like, oh my god, you're just making these YouTube videos just so you get views. Yes. And when you make a comment in the live stream, the entire point is so that the streamer actually reads it. So this doesn't work here. You're not going to shame your audience, especially when you don't seem to have any kind of sense of shame yourself. Without a doubt, there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. It seems like a you problem to me. Although you'll have to forgive me if I question your sincerity when you've also bragged that you're the Brad Pitt of lesbians. Okay. You guys are going in. God dang. This is a mess. What you is this even a professional? Up? Fine, we'll just go into this one because it's funny. Who's more talented for picking up girls at a bar? Frost or Dracos? Frost or Straight men don't necessarily find me very attractive. Let me tell you, I'm the Brad Pitt of lesbians. Okay, oh. got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it. Nobody cares. Although I have to say, no matter what it is, I can sympathize. If you're not born as Brad Pitt as a man, you've only got three other options. You can be intelligent, you can be funny, or you can be rich. And if you're not any of those, uh, well, you've just got to play the best cards you've been dealt. But I can fully understand as a woman approaching 30, if a front-loaded life of privilege as you age, just equality begins to look like oppression. Talk to him, Frost! It's a live stream. What else do you expect her to be doing? It has somehow been expected that you can talk about how much you jerked off to women as a compliment. I mean, at this point, you're going to have to work out which one it is. Are you not bangable or can people not control themselves around you? Because at the moment, I'm kind of confused about which kind of angle you're going for. But also, it is a compliment. Someone finding you attractive is a compliment. Now, I also agree it's kind of weird and you don't really want to find out about it because at the end of the day, if someone did it to me, I wouldn't care. And the reason I don't care is because the only time I will ever care what you do with your genitals is if you're pointing them at mine. It's dehumanizing. I don't know. To me, physical attraction seems like the most base of human emotions. Unless you're trying to suggest that the sight of you makes people want to go out and buy dog food. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. <laughs> Whoa, Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn, yes. Notice how no one's cheering for her. It's 
kind of telling, isn't it? But I also disagree on a fundamental level. Uh, this is why Hollywood has attractive people in it, why TV shows employ attractive people, why advertisements have attractive people, because it sells, because it preys on the most base of human emotions, because people like looking at attractive people. It's also why G4 TV, if it survives this, will probably employ attractive people in the future, if they've got any sense. And it's why genetic variation appears in the first place. It's trying to work out who's better. And the person that looks more attractive should, in theory, breed more and pass on their genes into the future. And that's why if you compare the Russians to the British, you'll find out that the British got the bad end of the gene pool. <laughs> hey, she cooking, y'all. Yeah. Yes, that's because it's very easy to talk to a brick wall that can't respond and own it when you've created a straw man for your entire audience that's supposed to represent them, when actually it doesn't represent any of them. Because your audience isn't a collective, it's a load of individuals who all have their own thoughts and beliefs, and apparently I highly doubt that any of them just can't control themselves when Froskin appears on the screen and just starts turning their front room into a plasterous radio. But no, she's definitely cocking y'all, and uh, hell. I'm just gonna let the viewers decide who won this one. And that's just <laughs> obvious sexism. Yes, yeah, she's just stated it, so it must be true. Seriously, it's the debating skills of a toddler. You don't need to explicitly objectify women or declare that you hate women to be sexist. Yes, you do. To be sexist means to discriminate against people based on the basis of their sex. That's literally what the word means, and it doesn't matter how often you try and redefine it, it still won't be true. Just go ahead and check out Thorne's latest meltdown on Twitter for some spark notes. I don't know who that is, and I don't care, and it's on Twitter, so I care even less. Now, here at X-Play, our reviews are written and produced by a team of people. There are too many games for one person to shoulder the burden. And that's not to say that Gerard, TBH, Adam, or myself don't contribute to the reviews. Now, I don't actually have a problem with this because I don't think everyone is equipped to present something on camera. So I fully believe it's fine to have someone play a game, review a game, write a script, and then someone else just present it in the final piece. As long as the person that's presenting it makes it very clear that it's not their words, it's the words of Dave, who played the game and reviewed the game. Of course, I would also expect Dave to get paid more than the presenter, considering they're the one doing all of the work. Done the experiment and controlled for the variable. I just want everyone to appreciate how experienced and professional you have to be to know that you shouldn't clap into a microphone while simultaneously being so thick that you don't realize what this will look like on camera, you f seal. Also, you just know that this cesspool was a comment that all of his mates would make to him, that he had to put in his background and desperately try and play off as a joke in the hopes that all of his mates would stop talking about it. Adam will read a script written by the same writer that I will read the other half of the script for, but I'll be the one flamed. Have you considered it might be because you've got the personality of a dung beetle? And yeah, it also happens to Ger Gerard and TBH, but that doesn't discount the sexism of how it happens happens to me when it does. Okay, so it's happening to all of you, but somehow you're special. Are we sure this isn't an ego problem? Because it's sounding like what you're doing is producing some kind of content, putting it out to a wide variety of people, and not everybody likes it, and some of them are telling you that. Oh, which is just basic facts. Whenever you put out everything, you're not going to please everybody, and some of them are going to say it to you. It's called life, dear. That there is a general hatred of any change that isn't Adam. I'm not fond of him either, to be honest. And that all receives special flame just for being a woman. Okay, let's just say that's true. Let's just accept everything. I mean, I don't think it is true. I'm still leaning towards the dung beetle theory myself, but let's just say it is true. What do you hope to achieve here? What is the point? Because your audience is the reason you exist, and right now you're crapping on them from a height. So the only thing you're going to do is crap on your audience, and they're all going to leave, and you're not going to have a job. You only exist as a clown. That's all you are. You are a clown, a court jester, on YouTube, there to entertain people, and the audience is there shouting at you, saying you're not entertaining them. And your purpose, your reason for being, no longer exists. So you decide to do this. You decide to shout, and scream, and re at them. And what do you want them to do? Continue to be there, because they won't be there. You are acting like the Sermon on the Mount, preaching at your audience, crapping on them in a house as they sit there and s demand that you do your job, your only reason for being on there. Because without them, you are nothing. Without your audience, you are nothing. You're just some peasant making videos on YouTube that nobody would watch. Without they make you. And yet you are the one acting as if you are superior to them and that nothing could be further from the truth. You are nothing but a clown, a jester, there for their pleasure, and they are saying that they are not pleased. And without them, you are nothing. You're just a random surf screaming into the void.
Oh, how I wish you were just screaming into a void. Half of our producers and writers are women. I don't care. And I don't know why you do, you bigot. When you're in our DMs- Don't worry, I'm not gonna be in your DMs. We're both safe from that. Thinking that I'm somehow ruining your current X-Play experience because you can't objectify me? No, they could do. They're just choosing not to. Which I thought is what you wanted. You, you're gonna have to make up your mind at some point. Do you want to be found attractive or do you not want to be? And please, make up your mind. Look, I don't think Adam's gonna have the same problem. Or that I'm somehow less qualified to speak on something, but you can't quite put your finger on why. No, I can. It's because you don't play the games. It's because you just read a script that's given to you by somebody else that actually has played the games, and that makes you not qualified to review the game. You can present a review. I have no problem with that at all. But you can't review games and it does make you less qualified to talk on that game than the person that reviewed it because they've actually played it, which is the fundamental principle and the fundamental need of what you have to do to review a game in the first place. I can absolutely put my finger on why very easily, and this is why it's easier to argue against a straw man which you've given to a group, even though it doesn't apply to any of them, and all of them could tell you very easily what was wrong because they have been doing, but you've decided to ignore it and just create your own reasons in your own head that don't actually exist. Which sounds like a you problem to me, once again. Even though I'm reading the exact same script as Adam, but you have no problem with he's part of it. No, I have the exact same problem with both of you. And I'm tired of pretending I don't. You're letting your unconscious biases ruin my day. There's no such thing as unconscious bias, and you can shove that back up Freud where he pulled it from in the first place. And also, the only person who's responsible for the happiness of your day is you. Offense is taken, not given. And you're gatekeeping the gaming space. Chad, yes. And you know why? It's because people like you keep coming in and all you do is attack gamers. The people that enjoy what it is already. And you come in and start telling them that they can't have fun, that they're not allowed their groups, they're not allowed to talk, they're not allowed to do anything. They have to conform to you. That you are now their lord and commander and we must all bow down and pray to you because you are the almighty creator. That they're not allowed to do what they want because, oh my god, what you're doing might affect me and you might affect my enjoyment of something. Nobody cares about you. You're irrelevant. Leave. Go away away. Go. Go. Shoo. You're not necessary and you're not required. They don't need you as the Sermon on the Mount coming down with the Ten Commandments to tell everyone how they must behave because otherwise, oh no, you might ruin my day. You have no power here. You're not required here and nobody wants you. Everybody is welcome in the gaming space and they always have been, but there is one kind of thing. Firstly, you must enjoy gaming and secondly, if you want to affect someone else's enjoyment, go away. Go off. Hide in your corner on your own, playing your own single player games or just group up with the the people but maybe just maybe if you put yourself in the public open on your own youtube channel and start telling things to a wide audience some of those audience might disagree with you there is a difference between just being a gamer of which anyone can be and everybody is welcome but then coming out and start telling everyone else how they must behave to conform to your wishes so maybe for 2022 we'd be a bit nicer a bit more self-reflective you want to take your own advice love and we enjoy the fact that people are working hard to make free content for you they can have any opinion they want about you. You are entitled to nothing. If you weren't there creating your free content, somebody else would be. You should be grateful that they turn up and are willing to watch your stuff because uh, if you keep acting like this, they won't do in the future. And this is why anyone with any sense appreciates their viewers because they should realize that uh, not only could they very easily leave, but they make a choice to be there. It's not you that should be, oh my god, you should all be so thanking me that I make this for free. N no, that is never required, although it is appreciated. And that's the attitude that it should be. Because those people don't have to be there, and you should be grateful that they're willing to spend their very valuable time watching your video. Instead, you give them this, and you expect them to stay. It's a brave tactic, let's see if it pays off. And that was basically it, and... The most astonishing part of this completely unself-aware rant was that it was done off an auto queue. This was scripted and it had been allowed to go out. If I ran a company, I would never allow someone at my business to crap on the audience like that. That is insane. You do not do that, but also you shouldn't feel the need to. You shouldn't be employing people that would even dream of doing that because they should know better. They should be more professional and also if they're going to be in the public eye, they should have a thicker skin. Instead, what we had was this nonsensical rambling that contradicted itself in multiple parts, all in the case of four minutes, and treated the audience like they were the problem, when clearly 
this is her own personal issues, which are just inside her own head. That's why she felt like the need to make up a straw man and attack that, rather than any actual thing that had been said to anyone in the particular audience, and she painted the entire audience with the same brush. This is how you behave as a collective, and I am going to come down from my throne and deign to tell you how you should behave in the future, because I am perfect and I know better than you, and because you are simply the lowly peasants which I preach to from my mountain. All in all, from such a scripted place, you couldn't have come from a more ridiculous foundation to attack people on. I think I showed that here. And what's worse is it only got worse from here. They didn't just double down, they quadrupled down and kept on shutting down the Reddit. They went on and started completely censoring their entire chat and made piece after piece that just made it worse and worse and worse because this was only the beginning. But I think for a first video, this was enough. If you like the video, press like and subscribe more videos like this in the future. And let me know what you thought of the whole G4 disaster down below. But for now, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.